little bit. Oh, where was my injury? <laughs> are you flying a ROM right now? <laughs> no, you are. No, you are. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. In the last one, we got through Charstone Canyon, and then we got our just like straight up encounter on Route 7. We didn't really go any further on Route 7. We just kind of just got a zip strike, and we just kind of like took it by the by the throat and just like yanked it out of its environment. So in, in this one, I guess we got to go through more of this area and then get to, uh, uh, what is the name of the, uh, Tilted Tower. We got to go to Tilted Tower and we got to go get our encounter and ring the bell and see Quartz of Juniper. Yep. To get a lucky egg that we're not going to use because <laughs> we have our candies. Why'd you encounter this knowing it was a fungus? I wonder if I wanted to beat it up with my grass type. <laughs> Oh, also, I did take Law out of the party. I I put Eel and Enel in here. Yeah. I think that would have been uh, better since uh, I, I was realizing like in that tower we're gonna be with a lot of ghosts, dark, and psychics. So. Yeah, Law, like, Law wouldn't have been the most useful. Yeah, I mean. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm badly poisoned. Side <laughs> uh, shot. You know, it's, there's a very easy thing in this game called running away from Pokemon that you seem to never do. I got, I killed it. I'm gonna go back and heal. <laughs> oh wait, I can just heal by the old lady, right? I can do that. It's fine. I'm just gonna just go like this. Back. <laughs> oh wait, while well, I had the menu up, I'm gonna give the, the little guy... No, I'm gonna give him an expert belt, why not? Why don't you give him a magnet? Like that. Well. Okay, you're feeling magnet. Well, because I think, like, so the expert belt, I think, boosts super effective moves by like 10%, whereas the magnet does like 20%, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but that also expert belt does it for the bug and the electric. And also dark, because we have dark too. Oh, wait, was that a rotation battle? <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, it is a rotation battle! <laughs> Uh, Scatlin, Deerling, and Deerling. This shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> okay, this, okay. Um. Nope, that's the wrong direction. You can just signal beam. Yeah. Bro, you're so smart. Oh, that deerling is dying. And now it's too nervous to eat any berries. So now it's dying and it can't eat berries. <laughs> it's dying and starving. What a combo. <laughs> hmm. Electro ball. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to switch. switch. <laughs> it's fine. Do I paralyze? Or does that. No, I don't think it paralyzes. Words are hard. Fine, yeah. just signal beam. <laughs> Yay! I just realized we have not found a fighting type. Nope. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. You should probably switch to a different one. Uh, yeah, I got replayed. <laughs> Can you switch to Bellamy? Yeah, yeah. So you surf? Yeah. I have to drown this dog real quick, BRB. You know I did that in Pikmin? What, drowned a dog? <laughs> in Pikmin, you get this little, little dog named Ochi, and he's supposed to help you. And like, I like, I was like, oh, he just walked across this little puddle, and then he immediately touched it and started freaking out. <laughs> and the little cat Wait, 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 he switched to Aramaki. Okay. And then the cat that came on, she was like, Oh, she really doesn't like water very much! And like, in the in the background, you can see him freaking out that his tail guy went. I was like, wait, I thought, like, in the trailers, like, this guy was shown swimming. So then I get an even bigger puddle of water. <laughs> and then like, oh, she can't swim! <laughs> Poor thing. I just let him keep flailing. It's so mean. <laughs> oh, shit. Why you do that? It was so funny. Oh, it cups you! We could have gotten that as our encounter. 
Yeah, since it is winter, that would have been pretty good. Because it would have been our first ice type. Yeah. I just realized that we get shafted pretty hard for ice types in here, because, um... Oh. Is this Yanny or Laurel? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, is this Edward? That's your hobby, Edward? I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> B blinking is your hobby? Mine too! <laughs> I love blinking! It sounds kind of fun! Maybe I should take it up too! Oops! My colleague is calling me! I had to get back to work! Talk to you again! Bye bye Wait, are you talking about the Yancey and Laurel thing of like what, what the person says? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. I think Pokemon play together makes me happy. Hey, you got an Emolga? I can trade your dead Emolga for a giggle. <laughs> Always a backup option. <laughs> Is that legal in the... Uh, in, in these games? No, I don't think so. Oh, shit. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> I thought she was gonna, like, see you on top of there and then, like, walk over and, like, glitch on top of the thing <laughs> and be like, I see you! Is it this one? Here. Yeah. Your team's looking sluggish right now! You, how you're, dare you? You got the read that's like really badly injured. How did that happen? I'm just like, uh, 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 uh fungus. You got the read is like, shit. You need to die. I don't really want to go touch it. I'm gonna go touch it then. Oh my god, I touched it. Now, how many times I was doing this in white too? <laughs> Running back and forth to, to, to try to level up my Pokemon. <laughs> But I get thing in like four times speed, it was like just like <laughs> you kept murdering. It got easier a little bit once uh, the jellyfish got to level 30. I'm like, alright, you're not getting the XP share anymore, you can go fuck off. Yeah. I thought Leaf Blade was like super powerful. I mean, it is, but. Most of the time when you see it being like super strong, it's, it's like. Like when it crits. No, it's like when you're against the Pokemon that's, that's using it, and when they use it, they're in, like, overgrow. Oh, that makes sense. Plus, you gotta remember, you are also just... Coil? It's this one. It's plus attack, plus speed, plus accuracy? Oh, plus attack, defense, and accuracy. That does sound pretty good. We don't use Leech Seed. Yeah, I don't really see you using Leech Seed. We can, we can power up with, with Coil, and then spam Leaf Blade. That sounds pretty good to me. <gasps> Our little starter! Yeah, like I was about to say, it's also a servine. It's not a servine. They're player. fine. <laughs> we can't make that joke anymore. <laughs> servine. It's servine. It has to be. <laughs> Look how pretty that bitch is. She is serving cunt in a good way. She lost her arms. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, she did lose her arms. <laughs> well, he lost yeah. his arms. You ever see Pokemon and you're like, yeah, that's supposed to be canonically a female or, like, canonically a male? Yeah, like, uh... Like, Roar! I have a Pokemon! Like, Mr. Mime should canonically be a dude. Yeah, but you see female ones, but they don't change their names. So why even call it, just, just call it a mime. Or, like, Basculin should be... I don't know where I was going with that one. I don't know either. It's okay. Like, like a main good point of those... Oh. No, 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 no. A, a main good point for those is, like, the starters. Like, when they're fully evolved, you can clearly tell, like, yep, that's supposed to be female, that's supposed to be male, and that's supposed to be, like, like a like non-binary, gender-neutral one, and whatnot, but by the way that they're, like, drawn. Like, like in Gen 9, that's a prime example. Like, the, the Quaxley is, a po is very feminine. The... The, the cow one is very much masculine, and the, the alligator is just like an alligator. <laughs> what do you mean? If Foycoco if we, if we is... If is... cool. I know he's cool. I mean, like... I mean, Gen 7 is also a prime example. Like, the owl is just like, chilling there, just being gender neutral. You have like, that seal one that's like, very feminine. And then you have the male one that's like, the, that male fire cat that's like, a wrestler and pecks out, and you're like, yeah, that's a male. <laughs> you to be, been, to be honest, I would have said that the that Miascarada is more feminine. Yeah, no, 
Or yeah. Yes. 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 And then I would have said Quaxley's just like a gay dude. Yeah. I know. I never seen a man sit in my place. I'm gonna let it heal real quick. I feel like it started that actually in this generation of them making Pokemon more lean towards a gender, like Superior being more towards female, and Boar being more towards male, and then Samurai kind of just existing in a vacuum of genderless. They're breaking gender stereotypes. What, what's, what's the point? I like I gotta like going in the grass. It feels wrong to just uh, ignore it. <laughs> what, what's the point? You're adding unnecessary risk, and it's not like you need to level off of them. You have rare it's, candies. It's, it feels wrong. <laughs> I don't care if it feels wrong. What you're doing is wrong. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> you think it was a fungus? <laughs> No, I think it was Among Us. <laughs> no, I'm very excited about later. I get to play... Which we should fuck should I put in here? Yeah, if I could put it in here. I get to play uh, Minecraft Parkour, and this is the farthest I've ever been in a speedrun of, uh, <laughs> of getting to the end portal, and I'm like two pearls short. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> So now I have to like make choices. I'm like, all right, I can either go in the overworld and try to find Enderman, also amongst the uh, creepers and skeletons, or I go back to my Nether portal because I know where that is, and <laughs> and uh, <laughs> try my best to get Enderman in a boat so I can beat him up. Yeah, I mean, either way, just take it carefully. Yeah. Hi there. How are things with Skyla? Oh, you haven't- you still haven't earned a gym badge yet? Well, if that's the case, I'll keep up the field research until the plane is ready to fly. Oh yeah! Why don't you try this? Thanks, I'll never use it, thank you. Giving that lucky egg to a Pokémon to hold increases the amount of XP received in battle a little bit. Having strong Pokémon will make it easier to fill the Pokédex pages. I like how we've had both two different reactions to us giving that, of like, Y2 is like, FINALLY! Training won't be so hard anymore! And then me's like, thanks, and I throw it away. <laughs> Alright. So we can get an encounter. Yeah, know what I'm thinking though? Because on this first one, you only get Litwicks. So what I'm thinking is that we use a Repel, and we get to the higher one, so we have a chance of either getting a Litwick, or that, the, the, the space alien little thing. So you're saying that you want to use your repels, your precious repels, to just go up, go and, up and potentially get a 50-50 chance of getting something that we want, or something that's just a fucking shit alien thing. You don't like the alien? No! I, I don't think if, if anyone in their right mind has a choice, I don't think they're ever choosing that, that alien so thing over Litwick. That was so mean. I don't care if it's mean. So that Pokemon is ugly, and it's ugly. You're ugly. Dang, your taste in, in men is, must be terrible then. Yeah, I know. Have you seen my my simplest <laughs> reference? <laughs> I will probably do that for a live stream at some point, where I get like I don't know how to set up a tier list to have like the options as like my own little shit. But once I figure it out, I will pull like every man that I sent over from past to now on there, and everyone will judge me wh horribly. <laughs> well, how it used forewarn and it was like, it was like, oh no, I see his his electro ball. That's so scary. And you're like, Bug. you're like, I'm not even gonna use that shit. Yeah, Bug. <laughs> Bug is pretty good. I, I hope. Uh, I hope Elf is happy that we got a bug type, because that's his favorite. And also, our, our favorite dude that keeps commenting, his favorite's also Bug as well. Alright, there we go, there's our encounter. Here's our fucking Litwick that you've always oh so wanted! <laughs> Fire types are objectively good in Nuzlocke's. And here's my bug type going up against it. <laughs> and... Chandelure happens to be one of the best fire types in this game. Alright. And you're saying... You're saying, oh, like, I want to use the repels so that we can not get our Litwick. That's not what I said at all! I was that we can get a chance of getting, like, more options. Okay, I have nothing Then what's the purpose that. of getting more options? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good deck. 
Maybe I will. I don't have one though. Not yours. Whoa. <laughs> My own. But <laughs> don't you have to remove ribs for that? I don't know. I'm not a, a self wiener sucking <laughs> expert. Pretty sure you have to get just like two, at least two ribs removed in order to like bend your body in the right way to do that. You know, let, let me go ask one of my friends who's missing a rib if, uh, if he's more flexible because of that. Who <laughs> the fuck in your frame group is missing a rib? No, <laughs> uh, one, one of my buddies, uh... What the fuck? Uh, his name is William. Oh. He, uh... He... The guy with the Charizard in, in the profile, or no? Yeah. Okay. He, uh, I think he has one missing rib on one side and one extra rib on the other. <laughs> what? Yeah, he, he's a twin and he, he got all the fucked up genes. <laughs> We, we make fun of him for that a lot, because like he has like asthma and stuff like that. And <laughs> yeah, is this twin like perfectly healthy and like? Well, yeah, it's Andrew. I mean, he, <laughs> he just he just doesn't he doesn't have anything wrong with him. Like, oh wait, wait, Andrew is the? Oh, I did not know that at all. I'm learning yeah, so much. They're, yeah, they're they're twins. They're they're not identical twins. They're fraternal twins. Because if you looked at really? them, I thought identical was was when they're the same gender. No. Really? I thought fraternal is always associated with ma like one's a male and one's a female. I don't think so. I'm pretty. I always thought because I, I I know a pair of twins, Hope and Faith, and they're identical twins. They're both female and they looked exactly the same in high school and whatnot. As they're older, they look different now because oh, different maybe, lifestyles. Maybe you are right. Hang on. I mean, they look they look different now because they're different lifestyles. They're living off on their own. They're eating different things. So, and the, one of them wears glasses now. The other one doesn't. Or maybe she wears contacts on who knows. So, identical twins result from the fertilization of a single egg by a single sper- Okay, I'll just spare you all the gross anatomy details. Identical <laughs> twins share the same genomes and are always the same sex. Mm -hmm. Fraternal twins uh, share half of their genomes, and so they may not be of the same sex or have similar appearances. Okay. So, identical twins- Always are, are the same gender. Yes, they're always the same gender, and they- almost certainly always look the same, mm -hmm. but, uh, or well, like, they share very similar physical characteristics. Yeah, I mean, uh, what's those kid actors, uh, like Zach and Cody from the Disney Channel? They're, they were, they're, they're twin boys, and as they're older, they look completely different now. You cannot tell that they were twins originally. Well, they're also, like, natural Hollywood people, and yeah. Hollywood people decide to go through phases where they make themselves look different every three seconds, but yeah, anyways, sure. um... <laughs> Goes fire candle. Its flame is usually out, but it starts shining when it absorbs life forces from people or Pokemon. Alright, what, uh, what gender is this one? It's a boy! Hmm. So, it's a ghost fire type. Who, who at Thriller Bark does anything with fire? Let me see, Thriller Bark. I was thinking here. Sabo. If we couldn't find any, because Sabo now has the flame flame through. That's true. Does Absalom use fire at all? No, he's just invisible, I think. Yeah. Uh. There's not a lot of fire in uh, One Piece, I'm just realizing that. No, there's not. There's like three uh, fruits. There's the flame flame one that Ace had and now Sabo. There's the general that is now like the, the head up of the of the I almost said the US Army, the, the Marines. And then there was that one one off character that had like the heat heat one, I think. Yeah, we probably won't get another fire type, so just go ahead and name it Sabo. Yay, Sabo! <laughs> Sabo. Sabo. <laughs> Yay, Sabo! <laughs> we're like thematically drifting just like more and more. <laughs> what? I said we're more we're thematically drifting more and more. We're just like we went from someone like like, oh this this character can control like plants and stuff like that. We should give them like uh like an apt an aptly named uh Pokemon and we're like, yeah it's fire it, it, it's, it's a it's a fire type. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. Yeah. I'm surprised that in, uh, in Thor Bark there's not a lot of characters uh, doing the fire. I'm surprised there's only three fire fruits that exist. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there's probably more, but we haven't seen them yet. Yeah. Well, Plus... there's there's the there's the heat heat fruit. 
There's the Shit. is it the cook cook fruit. So there's there's two different versions of the um, <laughs> the cook cook fruit. You you get baked. <laughs> you remember that? You remember that like shh. Well, I think it was shit. That shit uh like movie from One Piece that we watched with the like Dawn dude who he was like this really fat guy that had um, that had like heating powers. I think so. Uh, it was in like the one where they were like on this in this like ice area. And yeah, that's what that's the guy I was talking about. It was like it was well, it wasn't a movie. It wasn't a movie. It was like filler in between Thriller Bark and them getting to Fishman. No, not Fishman. Salvo. It was it was an in between bit. Okay, regardless. Oh, he, he has one version of that fruit, and then there's another character that has pretty much the same fruit, but yeah. it's just better. I don't, I don't remember what the, uh, what one of them is called. One of them is the heat heat fruit. So. We're learning so much about One Piece, guys. Okay, now that we have an encounter, I'm going to just. Put it's on the our heat fruit. heat fruit and the hot hot fruit. <laughs> They're two different fruits. The heat heat fruit is the cooler one. <laughs> I knew, <you>, but better. <laughs> Alright, I have a potion. And here you go, uh, so it's a, uh, there's a Reddit post that says, Realistically, what's the difference with these two devil fruits, and why is there two users with the same devil fruit at once? Uh, it's it, it literally, any, no one can explain it. Shit. They're just like, know, they're just like, it's filler, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> What a, what a statement, just, it's fucking filler, dude. It's, who gives a shit? <laughs> Maybe I would've forgot <laughs> that he already wrote that in. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own Nuzlocke right now. Yeah, he's uh, playing on an emulator on his phone. Yeah, well I'm just like, I'm just running through and like training my Pokemon, but then I, I came into a new route, so I need to catch up, uh, so I caught a Weedle, and I'm trying to figure out what to name it. <laughs> Weedle, dude, nuts. You have a Weedle dick. Name No. I, I, have a, I have a theme. Since What's I, the since, theme? Since, since I'm, I'm re-watching Fairy Tale right now, I was like, oh, I'll just name the, the characters like Fairy Tale theme. And, uh... Yeah, it turns out there's no one that's like, that does anything with bugs in Fairy Tale, apparently. Huh. Which, that's normally about, like a common um... power. What about um with Lucy with her like all those little doors of the of the the, the fucking angel like the stars and whatnot? There's no there's no one that has like a bug theme to it. I don't think so. Surprise! I'm trying to think of all the like, I'm running through the names and I I'm like nah. No, because those are must because there's water, fire, earth, and, and air or wind. Fairy tale bucket. It's just coming up with freaking the fan of fan and shit. Yeah, fucking how dare people have fun? That <laughs> eh, should be fine. I'm only waiting for fire and rock. And it's a fucking cup shoe. <laughs> cup shoe's only resistant against ice. I'm good. What about poison? Is it poison dragon slime? Yeah. I just watched the arc with that dude, but I'm pretty sure there's someone else that that, mm. that deals with poison. Or is it Venom or something? I should rewatch Fairy Tale. I, I remember it being good. I never finished it because it was it was a lot. And I was getting a little confused. I love how it, it, he has such a cool name. His <laughs> name is Cobra because he's like the like the poison dragon slayer, and like you know dragons are reptiles and and whatnot. Uh, like, he has such a cool name, and then if you look at his actual name, his, his real name is Eric. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like, it's like a, there's like another dude, like, his, his like code name is like Hot Eye or something like that. It's like, it's like, his real name's like Tony? <laughs> no, his real name's Richard. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me his name is Dick? Why is that a thing that Richard changed to Dick and vice versa? Wait, I forgot. I'm, this guy's weak against Bug. Fine, I'll, I'll name... Oh wait, but it's a... My Weedle's a female! Fucking erase it! <laughs> Alright, just... You know what, who's, who's, a, who's a female character in Fairy Tale? Lucy. Uh, Scarlet. I'm not... I'm not named... Actually, wait, she's scared of bugs, so maybe I will name it Lucy. Should you make Lucy into a bug? <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, huh? Yeah. 
What's that old? She was like the original uh, person that ran the 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 thing. She appears as a ghost. She's like a small. She oh, looks like a small Ma child. And she's blonde. Mavis, I think. Yeah. Yeah. She. Uh, she. She was like. Well, actually, I was I was gonna explain some stuff, but if anyone if anyone wants to watch Fairy Tale or something like that, I'm not gonna spoil anything. We're already spoiling One Piece with this yeah, with, the, with this, this series. entire like every name. You're like, oh, who's that? You look it up, and you're like, oh my god, that guy's dead in game and in here. Well, the one thing that I thought was kind of cool with the uh, with Fairy Tale and like, well, th there's this kind of genre mm -hmm. of like shows and books and stuff like that. It's the protagonist. POV where the protagonist is actually like, or well, I guess the POV is not of, from the actual like protagonists themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like the Great Gatsby does uh, does the same thing, where uh, Gatsby is like the protagonist, but the story is not through Gatsby's eyes. Yeah, it's through. Um, I forget. What his I name forgot is. his name too, but he's like he's like kind of like just like hey, I just moved here. Yeah, yeah, the, and fairy tales like the same way because like Lucy's technically. The POV, but she's not the protagonist. Yeah, it's Natsu, right? Yeah, so so I, I think those kinds of stories are cool. Mm -hmm. Leave down in the comments below what kind of genres you like out there. Are there any like genres or like stereotypical like uh, like tropes? Yeah, tropes that you really like in in stories. Oh, uh, I I love a good enemies to lovers kind of thing. I should have known that you were gonna bring up some like cringe Wattpad kind of crap. <laughs> dare you? I see nothing but love and support you, and this is the fucking things I get. I'm gonna put fucking Gekamore in the front. Yeah, I'm very appreciative of you. Thanks. <laughs> First you yelling at me and saying I'm only worth fucking $12. <laughs> no, I'm saying I, you you think I'm only worth $12. <laughs> Listen. Gentleman Daniel gives you like 7 grand <laughs> and you only gave me $12. You said not to do. Cool, I never got. You said not to overspend on on occasions like birthdays and holidays, and I'm doing just that, and you complain that I did. Well, th th this is this is true for all you people out there that are maybe getting into into your first relationship, or uh, you've had many before, and and things didn't quite work out. Been there, done that. Uh, if you start a relationship on a high. Uh, it kind of sets you up in a bad position later on because you have unrealistic expectations of each other. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be in like the honeymoon phase in the start of your relationship and whatnot, and it's all new and exciting and whatnot, but take it from someone who's been in multiple relationships and is currently in one for over two years. Two and a half. Two and a half is over two years. So. <laughs> well, just be accurate though. It's, it's, anyways, uh, set yourself up with uh, with some boundaries at least. You don't want you guys to to like fall out just because you know you did like a hundred dollar gift for someone and then the next year you can't do that anymore. Yeah. Like it's it's just an unrealistic expectation of someone to keep spending more and more money on you. Mm -hmm. Unless you have kids with them, in which case you're gonna be spending a fuck ton of money. Yeah, mainly on the kids. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't have any. This is a PSA to all all people out there. <laughs> Don't do it. It's a mistake. Yeah, this video is going to be the sole reason why the population is declining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After this video gets published, it's like breaking news: uh, birth rates plummet as low as ever. <laughs> I think it is plummeting because, I mean, our generation, Gen Z, cannot afford to even get a house. Why the fuck do you think we're gonna, gonna have a kid if we don't have a place to live? <laughs> and maybe it's because our generation is getting- it has a severe lack of bitches. Fuck you. Children are expensive, you lose all the good things in life, like drinking and- going out and like having your interest and whatnot and that and then I, I see it mainly in women. Oh wait, is bug is bug super effective against ghosts? No, it's bug. not very effective. Okay, I'm gonna switch to crocodile. I always see it in a lot of women, especially like nowadays. Is one once a woman adds a baby, it, it like people just associate just like their whole personality now with just being a mom. They're, they're just a mom. 
and they don't, and they don't have any self interest anymore. Especially not a person. Especially the freaking soccer moms. Oh my. Oh shit! I got cursed. And you, you guys ever uh, ever experienced like those uh, those like pure soccer moms who's like their entire personality is just the fact that their kid plays soccer for some recreational league or something yeah. like that. Oh no, just rec or <laughs> just or just a rec team. Yeah, like like they they have some little like you know little little Timmy the 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 five year old is yeah, he's picking is, grass. Yeah, and, and, and dandelions. And they're and they're like, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, Timmy, get in there. <laughs> you know, honestly though, I can't blame them. That sounds kind of fun. Yeah. Imagine, sh imagine showing up to, uh, to like your kids, uh, your kids like soccer game. He's like four years old, and you're like, you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, no one picks grass better than you, Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling up the comments. That, uh, that this man left. And I had to actually rewatch the video because the first thing he said was, Thank you for making me feel normal about my high school experience. I'm like, What the fuck did we say that made him feel like he was normal? And I was like, Oh, I was like, It was you saying how much you, how popular you were, a nerd and a troublemaker at the same time, and then me being like, I sold candy and ran a black market scheme in my school. <laughs> Alright, and then, okay. Okay, and, and the rest of the message reads, Pokemon Effect, hmm. Did you know that Baneri is the only Pokemon to have a zero-based friendship apart from Legendaries, Mythicals, Ultra Beasts, and Paradox forms? This thing starts out hating you with the might of gods. I can't really blame it, though, considering what the internet did to its evolution. Have you seen, the, there's like some, uh, there's like some Pokemon version, um, it's like a ROM hack mm -hmm. that adds like, a bunch of new typings, and they uh, they added in the furry type, and and uh, and it, it's like on Pokemon like Lucario and and like uh, Lopunny and stuff like that. Nice. I think I saw Offered do that. Yeah, they have like a bunch. They have like a bunch of them. Like there's one that's just like like a silly type, a little type. So, silly better go on that Spinda thing of like the. Like the confused little guy that's like dizzy all the time. You better go under the silly category. Yeah. Alright, and then this one. Uh, if you count Hidden Grottos as a counter, you can actually get a guaranteed Machino with the Tint ability, no less. If you count it, I recommend getting it because Skill Link uh, Sincino is pretty good. It's on Route 5 once you already got there. I think it's that Machino that's beyond who's like, look! Look, it's a rat! And we're like, fuck that rat! <laughs> we just left it there! Yeah, it's fine. I mean... The worst case scenario, we just go into a hidden grotto and encounter a fungus. Yeah. But I, I made sure to ring the bell for our for our poor dead Pokémon. Yeah, thank god, I need it. Yeah. While we're here, we get to go check out our, our new Litwick. Yeah. Let's see what's... Uh, let's see if Sabo is, uh... Good. If Sabo's looking kind of poggers. He better be. What the fuck just added me? Who posted my news on Twitter.com? Alright, we're looking for a modest nature out of you, Sabo. Oh. I think that's fine too. A lax nature? Is that like nothing or I think it's nothing. Let's look. Oh. Up defense, lower special defense. That's that's fine. So I mean we cannot have him around anyone that has good special tech. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. I mean, he has like not very great defense to begin with anyways. But yeah, a flame body. So contact with the Pokemon may burn the attacker. Yes! I think cool. his other ability is Flash Fire. Yeah. So... Does he learn, does he get the ability Levitate when he goes into a chandelier or no? I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe? I, I can't remember for certain, but not bad. Yeah, as we're recording this, White 2 Episode 7 just went out. White 2 Episode 7? Yeah. Oh. Which one was that one? It was us going through Route 4. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let, let's go finish up some things on... Route 7, yeah. yeah. Oh my Jesus! <laughs> it's whenever we're riding the bike, it gets it's really like laggy. It's like you can't handle it. Don't you oh, give yeah. us a TM or something? No, not in this game. Be careful, that guy's gonna battle you. Uh, have we battled him once before? The breeders will always battle you. Well, yes, I know. Time. I'm just saying, have we battled him yet? Just bring... Yeah, put, put Edel out, because he's got two birds. He's got a ducklet and then a tranquil. Okay, time to beat him up. 
Here you go, you can get this. I have a request for you. Please battle me. What am I doing? Am I training or what? Uh, run away from that. Is it a weedle? I think my, I think my, my Cyndaquil is very low on health. Yeah, I'm playing through a Nuzlocke of, uh, our Soul Silver. Oh. Because I've never actually played Soul Silver before. Me either. I, I got hard gold, and, and then I was unable to find Soul Silver. And then the pandemic happened, and all the Pokemon prices, like, skyrocketed like crazy. Isn't that outrageous? Like, all, all of the Pokemon prices were so freaking expensive over the pandemic. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's still, I mean, if you go to GameStop and they have Platinum or Diamond or Pearl, they're, it's like... It's like ninety dollars, oh, like seventy-five, I think, or like ninety. They're fucking expensive. Yeah, but what's also what's also fucking ridiculous is that AAA games are are seventy dollars nowadays. Yeah. Like the new, what Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, and Tears of the Kingdom, seventy dollars. Yeah, it's freaking ridiculous. Oh shit! I'm battling in person. Oh, also, no. El El is you gotta take him out. He's he's a, he's gonna he's a global cap. Okay. Fight. You don't have a fucking fire type move on this man? He's level 9! I thought by now he would learn one! Well, oh, fuck, what do you want me to do? Uh. You can throw out. You can throw out Pidgey. Oh my. Stop judging my choices. This thing doesn't have a, f a peck? Yeah, they're, they're low leveled! Yeah, I can fucking see that. Oh shit. Oh, it's a triple It's a battle. triple, but why did you do this? That's why you avoided her. It's fine. I got it. Can't, by the way, Cameron's playing right now, so if so, someone dies, it's his fault. And blame him. Poor Pokemon. Where does this hit? Oh, it hits all of them. Yay, it has another Caterpie. Caterpie! He, he probably has just like four Caterpies. No, he's a, he, I forgot his name, but he was a he was a he was a bug catcher. Not even like a weedle in here, nothing. Damn, you are <laughs> fucking lucky. I love how I purposely switched uh NL into the into the second spot because I was like I was like oh I, I don't want him to get like too much XP and then he just is in the middle <laughs> yeah. of this entire battle. <laughs> what I've never even considered losing. Well, have you thought about getting some bitches? Well, considering the fact that you just got Molly walk. I didn't battle right. that lady. Well, well, well. I'm not a well. Sand attack. I want Peck on him. Oh, he's got a Weedle. <laughs> oh, so he doesn't have four Caterpies? No. He has three Caterpies. Yeah. I, I wanted to share in some of the fun since, you know, uh, the Nuzlocke is, is like your thing. And uh, and I'm just doing like, I'm only like playing through like part of the, the playthrough mm -hmm. of White 2. I was like, I want to I wanna try my own Nuzlocke. I haven't done one myself in a while. Yeah. I mean, the last time that you did was when we did it one together with white, white, black, and white. Yeah. And that was fun. Which, keep your eyes out in the in the future, we will be doing another Soul Link eventually. Should I give this guy my phone number? Sure. Here you go. I don't know, you got an option in this game. What the fucker? <laughs> I'm getting beat up. Yeah, that sucks. Why don't you not do that? Thanks, I haven't considered that. Just, like, stop. <laughs> just don't do that. <laughs> You're just full of inspirational words today, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know, I am, right? Crunch, crunch, that's crunch. How, that's how I felt when I was writing my, my fanfiction earlier. Like, I wrote a paragraph and I was like, oh my god, I'm ow, so good at ow, this. Ow. Oh, oh! It's intimidated. Not enough, apparently, that it almost whooped your ass! <laughs> Cameron's playing, by the way, so if you lost Crocodile... <laughs> it, it was intimidated, why did it do that much to- I knew you it was gonna go hit five house. times, but I didn't think it was gonna do that. You know how- I, you know what, Jolene would've watched this episode, and 
And if Crocodile died, I would have got a very angry, <laughs> angry text message. I, well, I would have been very angry too. Crocodile's my favorite. Yeah. Getting get Molly won by a fucking Minji. <laughs> I understand what 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 uh, our boy was saying by you know it's it's a good Pokemon now. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna do that much damage. Sure, it's a stab. It's a stab like guaranteed five hit move, but yeah. like. Are you guaranteed five? If it has the the, na the, na the na special na ability. Oh shit. Oh. All right. I shouldn't have to worry about anything here. I don't think the sun flora can hit oh, this thing with anything to shit. damage it. What? I can't remember if Gekomori was holding an item. He probably is, but it's fine. The grass is too tall. Yeah, you're too short, stupid. <laughs> Get fucking taller. <gasps> Leaves. That's gonna nice. be useful on no one right now. Yep. I can't even remember who evolves with the leaf stone. In this game, you can't do that with Eevee. It has to be with the little moss things, but... Yeah. Da -da -da -da. We're getting another call from Burr. Yancey? No, it's our mother! Hi, it's your mother. Where are you now? Wow, Route 7, huh? That's amazing. How are you getting along with your Pokemon? You know, the reason you get to go on all these great places is because your Pokemon. So always be grateful for them. And take them straight to the Pokemon Center if they get hurt, like a crocodile that you had in the back. And that's it from our, our former Pokemon Center receptionist, your mother. What'd you say about my mother? <laughs> I wanna look it up. What fucking evolves the Blood Leaf Stone? I'm quite curious now. Also, I wanna bring my attention to this comment that I got. Oh yeah, uh, I haven't replied yet. It was this one! On a, on like right after it was like right after we beat up Berg, and they're like, please don't make my mistake with with that Growlithe. Arcanine learns zero moves after evolving, so make sure it has good TMs and hold off evolving. And I just went, don't worry, we won't. <laughs> yeah, we really, definitely will not make that very mistake. Very upset. <laughs> hey, we we didn't make the mistake. Yeah, we didn't make the mistake. We didn't evolve it yet. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely no mistakes here. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, I think I, 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 uh, I took a screenshot of it, posted in the Discord, but like, how do I tell him that Ark, like, how do I tell him that Ace is dead? <laughs> it was, it was for, it was for the, it was his canon event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that meme going around everywhere about the canon event. Oh my god, just go on the fucking thing. I have to go is battle it? these toddlers. One plus one is in three, right? <laughs> Shut up. No one likes you. Maybe I can get, get away with it. Why do they have such good eyes? It must be their youth. The two of us make an amazing combination, let's battle. The teamwork of twins, a true example of perfection. See, because they're, they're twins because they're identical. <laughs> they're twins because they're identical? No, they're identical because they're twins. How about you, Chef? Yeah, Wait, actually. Z Zangoose and Sviper. Oh no wonder why my chat makes fun of you for being like a- I'm actually- <laughs> I love you. They were making fun of poor Cameron when he was playing FNAF. I'm like, he was like, I got the sound cues down. They're like, can I have the sound cues down? Freddy was not gonna get my FBA. <laughs> Please kill this thing. <laughs> Every time Cameron Ow. said anything, <laughs> they were like, oh my god, what a nerd. <laughs> it was funny though. Uh, Gekko Moria, you are going to go out for Bellamy. And hopefully this kills the survivor. Survivor. <laughs> Oh look! His claws are back to normal. Yeah. They're not pink anymore. Nice. Good, good, good. I miss some of the ways that the Pokemon were drawn in this game. Like, him on top, how he would spin on his head to like, 
when you see him in Gen 6 in 3D, it's like, just standing. It's like, why are you doing that? Don't fucking stand. <laughs> why are you doing that? <laughs> Stop. You, you know what I mean, right? Like, they had some cool-ass animations for the all these little guys and whatnot in Gen 5 with their pixelations and, like, all their cool stances, and now they kind of just, like, stand there as, like, a like T-posing or A-posing in, in newer games. <laughs> Does that make sense, or am I crazy? I think you're crazy. I don't know, in this game they have so much personality, where in, Gen, in like Gen 6 and onwards, when they've been turned to 3D, it's like, it's like nothing anymore. They well, just kind of well, like stand like, there. Well, they have like some idle animations, like in, in the Gen 6 games. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, I get like sort of what you mean. Sort of. Sort of. A little bit. A little bit, just a little bit. Like, some Pokemon did get better with 3D and whatnot. Some other ones are like, why'd you do that? <laughs> Him on top is such a prime example, because he used to go like, he used to be like, on his head, because he, he used to spin on top of his head, and he had his legs up, and, he would, and you see him spin, like, on screen, and like do his little, like, fighting little position, and now when you get into 3D, he's like, he's like standing there, just like, <laughs> yeah. moving his little arms, and they're like, I don't know, you couldn't be bothered, just, fo just, just, yeah. <laughs> All right. No, that was pretty good. Yep. Made it through. Made it through tilted towers. Made it through all Route Seven. And I didn't make a single Sonic dub joke. Let's go. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> yep. And the next one, we'll take on Skyla. Beat her ass. Yeah. Uh, then defeat her Pokemon. No. Um, <laughs> and then uh, head over to uh, Tinnitus Town, and. Tinnitus Town. <laughs> Yeah. And go from there. Maybe we'll get some new encounters? Mm hmm We'll just... Oh yeah, we have two encounters we can get. Which, do we want to get outside of Reversal Mountain, or do we want to go just inside? Well... They're different encounters, but they count as one area. We'll decide, and they'll find out next time. Yay! Till next time! Yep. Bye-bye! <laughs>